Today is Monday, August 17, 2016, 15. <laughs> and the title of this rant will be, Has Donald Trump Peaked? And what I mean by that is his popularity right now at the highest level that it can be. And I would say that there's a good chance that Donald Trump has actually peaked in his popularity. And I'm saying that for a number of reasons. Number one, I don't know if the Iowa Fair is over. I think it is, or maybe it's on for the rest of this week. I don't really know, but he's already been there. So whatever he got out of that, got out of that he got out of that. Today, uh, three weeks from today is Labor Day. So I don't expect any type of big news to be coming out. Now, of course, a lot of things can happen, but remember the Senate is out, the House is out, and Obama's on vacation. That does give Trump the ability to uh, monopolize the airwaves for a couple more weeks, but I don't necessarily see him coming out with any new plans uh, or anything different in the next two or three weeks. So that just means a lot of hot air for the next couple weeks. And uh, I have watched a lot of his interviews. Obviously, I could never watch all of them or keep up with all of them. But he's very repetitive. And I will make a couple quick comments. That Number one, uh, both Bill O'Reilly and Sean Hannity gave him a lot of leeway. They didn't interrupt him and jump all over him like they normally do when they don't, don't agree with someone. They gave him a tremendous amount of deference. And I noticed that whenever anyone goes to interrupt uh, Mr. Trump, he just jumps right back in and, 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 and controls the airwaves, so to speak, and goes back to basically his own talking points because I have basically heard from him the same thing for about the last three or four weeks. I'm really smart. Uh, the American government doesn't know how to do anything. And if I get in, I'll change everything. You just watch what I'm going to do. Uh, but uh, everything that we've done before has been stupid and I'll make it better. So he really hasn't come out with anything. He did come out with a uh, immigration plan, which is something that the Republicans would love to have, but have been reluctant to come out with it. It's what they really want, but they don't really want to say that's what they really want. He's saying what they, is what they really want. Uh, basically, he's more xenophobic, uh, a, a complete 1,800 mile long uh, wall between us and Mexico, which he claims Mexico is going to pay for, and then to send all of the illegal immigrants, I, I don't know if that's the best term to use for them anymore, but all of those who are not here illegally, to send them home, and I think it even included American citizens who were born here uh, because they're still children, uh, because he says they all got to go, and a lot of, that would take a lot of money to do. And of course, that money has to come from Congress. And of course, if Congress appropriates this amount of money, they got to get it from somewhere else. So we'll see how all that pans out. Uh, but very xenophobic. And uh, I, it's going to sit well with the base and it'll probably bring over some, uh, let's say, uh, middle to lower class uh, white Democrats to him. But I don't think it'll change, you know, really get him a whole lot from the general public. So it's great on the Republican side, but not so great on the, uh, on, on the, whole, the, the, the electorate as a whole. And it doesn't bode well for him in the actual general election. Now, the reason, next reason why I say that he peaked is because come September, a lot of things are going on. Three weeks from today will be uh, September 7th. Congress doesn't get back till the 8th and 9th. Then a couple things happen between the 8th and 9th and the 30th, which are, only leaves about 12 or 13 um, a working business, business working days uh, for the House and Senate. First thing that's going to come up is the Iran thing. Now, we know right now that uh, it's going to get defeated in both the House and the Senate, uh, um, and that uh, uh, Obama's going to veto it, or however it's going to happen. And right now, it looks as if there are enough Democrats in the House, and possibly enough in the Senate, so that it cannot be overridden. But guess what? Four senators are running for president who are <laughs> Republicans who are going to jump all over this thing and get as much as airtime as they can, even though Trump may have an opinion. I do believe because they are the actual players and the actual voters in this thing that they will take the airtime out of that. So that's, 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 that's the Iran thing. Now, remember, also the Highway Trust Fund is coming up. 
And of course, we've been kicking the highway trust fund down for the last 18 months or so, and they're still trying to get a six-year highway trust fund, which we've had been do had for years in the past. It has always been a big thing. And again, will uh, what will Congress do? How will all those people running for president do? Will John Boehner uh, elect to go against the? Uh, uh, tea partiers, those 40 or so who don't want to go with it. It's a big deal. Can we raise taxes? Will we raise the gas tax to take care of this thing? It's a vital thing. And it's a jobs thing also. So this is a big thing. Also coming up is the budget, which needs to be approved or extended uh, or something by September 30th. Now remember, a lot of things didn't come out, and a lot of uh, House spending bills have not come out of the House as of yet. It's uh, almost ludicrous to think that they can come out by the 30th, which means that they're going to have to continue it. And of course, uh, our good friends, the four Republicans who are running for the, for the president, uh, are also really, really big, uh, well, maybe not Graham quite as much, but really big on shutting down the government if there is any money that is going to be provided in, let's call it the continuing resolution for Planned Parenthood. They've made a big thing about that. The um, right to lifers think they have the issue upon the issue which will defund Planned Parenthood forever and that these four Republicans and the rest of the Republicans will shut down the government in support of defunding Planned Parenthood. So you have a two or three trillion dollar budget <laughs> and they want to and, and they're they're gonna they're going to stop this whole thing uh, based on about five hundred million dollars. Uh, so <laughs> We'll see how that happens. And remember, Mitch McConnell said that there would be no shutdown. He wants to have a clean bill out of this thing, even if it's just a continuing resolution, and they want all the Republicans to vote for it. And my big point is, this is going to suck all the time out in September. And of course, if anything else happens in September, that's all going to happen. The Export-Import Bank thing is a big thing also. I don't know if that's, that might be part of the continuing resolution also. So there's a lot going on. I don't see Trump getting a whole heck of a lot of airtime come September. And since I, I don't think he's really added anything new for the last two or three weeks, uh, it's just the same old, same old. I see him have, having peaked at this time and I don't see it going any better for him based on what's going to happen in September. And there's going to be a continuation of some of those things come uh, October. So I think Trump has peaked.